This demo will showcase our Salesforce to Salesforce custom object migration template. The migration pattern is the act of moving a large set of data from one system to the other at a point in time. Migrations are critical in any organization that has data operations and most commonly occur during mergers and acquisitions, implementation of new software, migration to a cloud-based environment, and many more. In this video, I'll show you an example of an organization A that needs to migrate some of its custom objects to a new Salesforce instance at an organization B. We will also specify a filtering criteria. In this case, a custom object will be filtered depending on the year. Right now, let's go ahead and see how it works in Salesforce. Here you can see that we have two different Salesforce accounts where we created a custom object for music albums. And if we take a look inside of our Salesforce origin account, we can see the music albums that meet the criteria being recorded after 1968. Now, let's start the migration process. This template is triggered by an HTTP call, so it can be used manually or programmatically. All I need to do to make it run is to send a request to a configured HTTP endpoint, and you can see how quickly I receive a message that the batch process has been initiated. This template is configured, so when the migration process is complete, you'll receive an email. As you can see, we've already received a message report that the migration process has been completed. Then, we go back to our Salesforce accounts and refresh the page on our destination Salesforce. We will see that the music albums that met the criteria made it over to our destination Salesforce instance at the organization B. Now let's take a look inside of AnyPoint Studio and see what makes this integration possible. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see an HTTP connector that initiates the migration process by calling the main flow and then sets the payload and builds a response message. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Here we will find a Salesforce connector where that filter is determined. The filter is part of the query that selects what should be migrated over or at least extracted out of the Salesforce instance and what should be filtered. Then we pull the data out of the Salesforce destination and check whether the custom object from the Salesforce origin exists there. Then we either create a new custom object or use an existing one so we can upsert the information to our destination Salesforce. The last step that we do, we log a message report and send an email to the address we listed in the configuration file. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce credentials in the properties file and run the application. Today we've shown you our Salesforce to Salesforce custom object migration template and migrated custom objects over from one organization to another. To find out more about the template, follow the view documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.